Hey, it's Joel, 3D Printing Nerd, and I've got the palette here, actually the Palette Plus, and I've got some empty spools because I want to talk to you about some filament. I want to talk to you about the Palette Plus, and the best way to showcase these two things together is 3D Fill! Look at this. This is the Matter Hacker's new mascot, I guess. This is 3D Fill. It's a model that Matter Hacker's created for people in the community to print with their filament, or the printers they sell, or any other filament. It doesn't really matter. But it's really cool because it's a simple model, it's an easy to print model, it scales to any size, and just look, look at its gloriousness. This is pretty fantastic, look at that. So the reason it looks all funky is because of the palette system. I'll explain. Mosaic is a company that puts out the palette, and the palette is this machine right here. It takes up to four filaments in, and it's able to mix them and splice them and spit them out as one continuous strand of filament. The idea behind it is you have a printer with one nozzle, you should be able to print with more colors or more materials at the same time. So look, here's, here's a filament splice it made. It goes green, it goes yellow, and then at the end, a little bit of blue. Fantastic. Here's how the palette works. It takes up to four filaments. It uses these stepper motors to bring the filament to a little place where they all kind of can converge. This is a cutter wheel that cuts the filament. It then brings it into this section right here, which is a heating tube. This arm swings over, heats the tube for a specific amount of time at a specific temperature. Once that's done, the stepper here and the stepper here that it's using compress the filament to make sure when it's hot, it's all squished together. And then it sends it out here to your printer. The idea behind the palette is fantastic because not only does it allow you to use models on your machines that are capable of being printed in more than one color or more material, but it also allows you the freedom to use artistic expression to make freaking cool stuff like this. So yes, you can use the palette to print models that have more than one color. There's also modes that allow you to blend and pull random filaments and splice them together to then create stuff like this. And the reason I chose this mode is because I got some filaments from Repcord. You know Repcord on Twitter, he goes by Pooch, but I think his mother calls him Alan. If I picked up four rolls, I'll put a link down in the description to the exact bundle that I got. And I thought, what better way to test some filaments than to mix them all together in a crazy artistic pattern. And I have to tell you, the Repcord filament actually did a fantastic job. This was printed at 0.4 millimeter layers on the GMAX 1.5 XT+. It's printed with two perimeters, four top layers, three bottom layers, 60 millimeters a second, and 220 degrees centigrade on the nozzle. You also may be wondering why the top of it is blue. Well, you know, with all good tests, there are bound to be some failures. Let me tell you about those. First, I actually had a failure with the pallet system itself. This PTF tube right here is held in place by some brackets and it was loose. And at some point as it was retracting and pushing filament out, it popped out. You can actually see it in the video as the PTF tube connected to the printer just kind of lays flat. And once it does that, it can't produce filament anymore. The printer's direct drive system just pulls the filament through until it's no longer. And then you're printing with air. It was a fantastically easy fix that the people at Mosaic pointed me to. Uh, they have these support documents on their site. I was able to get this back in and running in no time flat. However, I did produce a couple extra astronaut boots and that's because in testing the Repcord filament, by default, this heats it at 230 degrees when splicing and it heats it for two seconds and then it compresses it for 1.2 seconds. That seemed like it wasn't enough because I was getting a splice failure. And it wasn't an initial splice failure, it was just at some point in the print. So I added a second to the heat and I added 0.6 seconds to the compression time. I know that's really technical, but don't worry. And I just poked two buttons in the interface <laughs> for the software and it worked great. So no more astronaut booties. You may be wondering why the top of filament is actually in Protopasta High 5 blue PLA, and that's because of a bug I experienced in the Chroma software for the palette. Essentially, the palette has this change filament procedure, so if you start to run low on a spool through the UI, you can hit a button, you pause your printer, it spits out the filament, it then puts in the new filament, and then it is good to go. 
But because of the bug I ran into, I was unable to do that. I talked to Mosaic and they fixed it and it should be available by the time you see this video. All right, that is Repcord Filament. I suggest you get some. I find it to be of high quality and it printed extremely well. This is the Palette Plus from Mosaic. I find it to be an incredibly interesting machine that uses a ton of math to create all sorts of really cool stuff. I highly suggest you look into one of these. This is 3D Fill, the Matter Hackers 3D printable mascot. If you get the chance, print this on any printer with any filament and show it off with the hashtag 3D Fill. Beyond that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. Big thanks to you if you support me via Patreon, YouTube Red, or if you let the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, 3D Phil is cool and high five.